Welcome back to the Be Long Show. Well, we out here trying to teach people a little bit of something, young humanitarian style. And while this show is not about Kevin Samuels, I still want to say rest in peace to that brother, as he had a lot of good points. We might not agree with everything he said, which we should not do with any human being. But if a person has a good point, we should take those good points. And we should, well, we should also should acknowledge the negative points to figure out what's going on and why those points are even being made. <clears throat> so what I wanted to do today was talk about um, Chris Rock again. Once again, I state Chris Rock is the man. Chris Rock is the man. I'm sitting here watching all of these things unfold with the Chris Rock and Will Smith thing. And Chris Rock is the man. A whole lot of us need to learn from him, especially all you wild boys out there, all you wild girls out there. This man got slapped in the face at one of the most exquisite shows that there is for us to attend, a private ceremony. He maintained his composure. He completed his set. He was eloquent with his tongue. And he managed to do all of this after being slapped in the face. Do you know how it feels to be slapped in the face and to do nothing? You're not scared or anything, but you still don't react and return with violence. That's tough. If that was me and I got slapped in the face, even if I tried to stand there and don't react, I would have been shaking. My eyes would have been red. I couldn't even talk straight. But this man stood there with a straight voice. You couldn't even really tell his anger was there. And he addressed the man that slapped him with pure, pure class. And he walked away. <clears throat> the big thing is this man even thought about this other man that slapped him. You see, the thing that people not paying attention to, and people so caught up in the little high point of violence that occurred between the two gentlemen, instead of uh, uh, paying attention to what's actually occurring, this man sat back and gave this man a chance to apologize. Chris Rock didn't press charges. Chris Rock didn't retaliate. Chris Rock didn't say anything. I mean, you gotta be crazy if you think Chris Rock can't make some noise when it come to Will Smith or anybody else. Chris Rock ain't new to the game. This dude been doing movies since the early 90s, probably late 80s. I don't know, but I know he been doing this since the early 90s. So Chris Rock ain't no scrub. Chris Rock ain't a nobody. It's people that have killed people just to walk around with him, just to visit his house. And it doesn't matter if it was Will Smith, Denzel Washington, The Rock, or Suge Knight. Chris Rock, his people want to be around him that ain't playing no games. So you got to be crazy to think that he couldn't say or do nothing because that was Will Smith. On top of that, Will Smith can't say anything. Like, he can't say anything to win an argument or back and forth conversation with Chris Rock. Chris Rock will eat Will Smith up in the back and forth any day. He's not new to the game. And while Will Smith play funny, he's not a comedian. He's not that witty type. You know, and Will Smith know that. And so the reason I say, you know, Chris Rock is the man and I'm coming out here talking about it again is because Chris Rock did what a man supposed to do. When you know a man is vulnerable, when you know a man that lost his mind because of his heart, you don't beast him. You don't dog him out. You give him a chance to heal and fix himself. Will Smith wasn't man enough to apologize to Chris Rock. He's still up under Jada Pinker's butt and don't know why. If him and her ever split up, 
He gonna go back on all of the foolish things he done did. But it's gonna be too late at that point. At least for most of them. And so Chris Rock gave him time to apologize. He gave him time to react. He gave him time to get his mind right. And since Will Smith didn't take advantage of that time, now he's about to start getting tore apart by Chris Rock. Day by day. Slowly. So they was at an exclusive comedy show. Dave Chappelle set up, set the whole thing up. He teed it up. And Chris Rock, he bun it. You know, he didn't hit it out the park yet. But he's letting you know I'm coming. You know, Dave Chappelle talked about him getting slapped. And then Chris Rock said, I got slapped by the softest rapper ever. How you think that make Will feel? That tore him apart and sad. Because it's always bothered him about what rapper he was. You know, that tore him up. And he know that he emotionally weak. You know, Chris Rock, he strategizes. And so, you know, let's keep paying attention so that we can be adults. You know, Will Smith got to pay. And it's in Chris Rock's hand how he chose to make him pay. As we see now, Chris Rock, he taking it to the streets in an elegant way. And he's showing Will Smith, you messed up, man. All because you didn't apologize. You didn't mess up because you slapped me. You messed up because you thought I wasn't worth an apology more than that freak you with. Let me know how y'all feel about it in the comments, man. I, I enjoy watching this man work because I wish I could work like him. You know, I wish that I had that type of control. And seeing somebody do it, that was that was plenty for me. Because now I'm going to start developing in that manner. You know, before I didn't know about that. You know, automatically when he slapped me, he would have got punched. Like, instantaneously. I wouldn't have had enough sense to withhold my feelings and do what I should do as a man, a professional man, at a professional venue. You know, this is just like kids at school. We should know how to hold our composure. We should know how to not put our hands on other people. We all can learn from this. Maybe the wars will stop a little bit. Maybe the fighting in the streets will stop a little bit. Maybe the foolish gangs will stop a little bit. I hope all y'all are paying attention to what's going on with Chris Rock and how he handling this. And, you know, just thinking about it, and I'm going to end it on this. Uh, this is off topic, but I just thought about it when I mentioned these gangs. I'm sick of y'all dumb gangs and y'all dumb gang members. You know, uh, first off, you following. You some suckers. You following. You know, where the red and blue come from? They didn't come from Bloods and Crips. They came from Democrats and Republicans. They red and blue. They are the red and blue. But you people are too stupid to pay attention to where this came from. So then the Bloods and Crips basically try to take that from the Democrats and Republicans and some of them probably don't even know why they chose red and blue. And then now, you idiots across the nation decide you are bloods and crips. And most of you decide you are bloods, which I think you do that because of the red and you wimpy. And because of the majority is saying that they bloods and you don't want that opposition. So, you keep on doing this and you're involving other people and you're involving kids and you're bothering people. I'm tired of you. You're dumb. And I want you to know how dumb you are because if you realize how dumb you are, maybe you'll start to uh, drift away from the stupidity that you tied up in and start to make better decisions and these gangs will start to decrease or even dissolve completely. But anyway, you're running around in this red and blue and claiming all of this stuff. And 
I'll just look at you and I'll just shake my head because you're dumb. Like you don't even have a purpose for your gang and y'all just randomly in the gang. There's no type of organization to it at all. You losers. And then you're talking about snitching, you're talking about stabbing each other in the back, all this other stuff. All of y'all are dumb. And since this show not about that, I'm not going to continue with it. If I get a few phone calls asking me to talk about that, i give a show about it. But for now, this show is about rest in peace, Kevin Samuels. And you the man, Chris Rock. I'll see y'all later. Young humanitarian. Learn something from somebody. Learn something from different things. Don't pay attention to the superficial stuff. Get deep. It's the Be Long Show.